Good morning, sweet ladies. Thank you for being in our devotional group Far Above Rubies this morning, hosted by the Ladies of the Journey Church. I'm so glad that you're here. If no one has told you yet today, you are valuable and you are precious to God. And that's what us diving into the book of Proverbs is all about, is we're working our way up to reading about that virtuous woman in the last chapter that we want to be like. Today we're in Proverbs chapter 2. Proverbs chapter 2 is a story about two paths, the path of sin and death, or the path of wisdom, or God, and life. We see these two paths all throughout scripture. It's, it's mirrored in many, many scriptures. One scripture I'm going to bring to you today is Romans chapter 6, verse 23. It tells us that the wages, or the result, of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. All throughout time, since the beginning of time, God has given man two choices. Choose sin, disobedience, rebellion, and find spiritual death. Or choose obedience and love and relationship with God, and you will find spiritual, everlasting life. This choice should seem like a no-brainer, right? It should be an easy decision. Um, why wouldn't anyone choose life and God and relationship with well, because sin doesn't look like death on the outside. Sin looks beautiful and tempting and exciting on the outside. Sin looks like a juicy piece of fruit after a long, hard day's work in the garden. Sin looks like sweet revenge. Sin looks exciting, and it looks like secrecy and fun and tempting, appealing. In a language that a young man could understand, Solomon described it in Proverbs chapter 2 as a beautiful, seductive, worldly woman. That's something the young man could relate to. That's what sin is like. It's tempting. It's appealing. But we don't see what sin really is until we give into it and sin begins to look like death. It begins to look like spiritual death. I've heard all my life this saying that sin will take you further than you wanted to go. It will keep you longer than you intended to stay, and it will cost you more than you could ever imagine. And it's so true. But on that grim note, there is good news. There is great news. There is the good news that Jesus Christ died for us. He died for our sin. His sacrifice is not just pretty and warm and fuzzy from the outside. It only gets better and better and better for us in relationship with him. The sacrifice of Jesus was made so that no matter how many days you chose the wrong path, how many days you chose to give in to the temptation of sin, that on any given day you can reach out to Jesus and he will forgive your sins and you can be put on the right path, the path of life, the path of relationship with Jesus. Whether you're new to your faith, or you're returning to your faith, or you're in a, a season of faith where you're struggling with small decisions, decisions that seem fun and tempting and appealing, but they lead down the path of death. No matter where you're at, you can choose life today. You can choose the right path today. That's what Proverbs chapter 2 is encouraging you and admonishing you to do, to choose the right path, to seek wisdom, to pursue it, to seek relationship with God and hang on to it with all that you have to resist temptation and resist evil and resist wickedness, resist those who bring those things into your life. You can choose the path of life. If you're new or returning to your faith, you can ask God to forgive you. You can read Acts chapter 2 and find how easy it is to ask God to forgive you, to be baptized in the name of Jesus, like the new church was in the, in the book of Acts. And the Bible tells us that baptism in Jesus' name washes away every sin you have ever committed. Every sin. If you've never been baptized in Jesus' name and you want to find a church that will do it or you have a church that will do it, go and find that. If you need help, the ladies in this room will help you find a church that will baptize you in Jesus' name and have all of your sins washed away. It is the most beautiful thing that you can ever experience. You can seek to be filled with the Spirit of God because it's for us today. If you're not new to your faith and you're in that season of struggling with small decisions, small temptations, you might have a relationship with God that's beautiful, but you're struggling with small decisions. 
talk to God. Talk to Him today. Talk to Him now. Talk to Him every day. Talk to Him every time those decisions pop up in your mind. You talk to Him. Ask Him, God, help me. Help me to choose the right path. Help me to choose the path that leads to life. Help me to choose the path that leads to you. Help me to resist temptation. Help me to identify the areas in my life that I need to run away, run away from temptation. I'm challenging everybody today to read Proverbs chapter 2. Share below what um, spoke to you, what God is speaking to you about this scripture. Ha ask questions. This is a safe place. Ask questions. If you don't understand something, ask questions. That's what we're here to do is to grow and to learn together. And final challenge, go invite somebody to church with you for tomorrow. God bless ladies and hope you all have a wonderful Saturday.